Hello guys, this video will be about blade components in Laravel. So in Laravel Breeze and in Laravel Jetstream, the default registration and login forms use blade components and they provide a lot of resources, views, components, these ones. So for example, there's input error, input label, which are used in the registration form. But what if you want to add another field which is not among the components? For example, a dropdown. So Breeze doesn't provide input select or input dropdown. They do have dropdown, but it's for another place for the menu. That's not the same. So in this lesson, let's actually create X input select with an example of time zones. Your example could be like choosing the language, choosing the country, choosing user role, whatever, any dropdown. In my case, it will be time zones. And the goal of that component is to have the same styling. So for example, if we copy and paste name into like this place after the password and change that, for example, to time zone and just provide here general select with options, for example, like this and delete the X text input. Look at how it looks. If we refresh the page, we have the time zone dropdown, but we want that to have the same look and the same feel as other fields. So full length, same borders, same padding and stuff like that. And probably we would want to use the same input styling in other pages too. That's where components become handy. So you create the styling once for that component and then could reuse it throughout all the project in the future. So that's the reason why. Now let's get to the how. To create a simple blade component, you just need to create in resources views components, a file with blade PHP at the end and then you could use that as X within the same file name. So input label is the file name and X is how you use it. So let's do exactly that and create a new file called input select blade PHP. As a proof that it actually works, let's just copy or in fact cut from here, paste here, option works and let's use it as X input select like this without any parameters for now. And let's just refresh and we have works here. So we already have blade component, which we're using in other blade file. Now let's make it actually more useful with parameters and styling, but first some cleanup. So let's do the label for time zone field and let's change the comment to time zone here. And also messages will be for time zone. In this video, we won't cover any validation that comes from the validation, but just for the sake of consistency, let it be here. Now let's work on the select itself. If we take a look at the X text input, for example, here, what do we see here? We see the HTML, the same input with variables that could be passed as properties and also their attributes. So let's actually copy paste from this here into our input select. And we need the same styling of border of shadow. So we will leave it as it is disabled. We don't have any functionality and let's do it like this select. And then the class will be by default with these values. And then we close the select and then we have options for now. Again, let's hard code it works with styles. So we'll do it step by step. It will be a bit longer video, but I wanted to show you the reason why behind each step. So like this, and now if we refresh, we have works with styles. And as you can see, the border is already the same as these ones. And to make the final styling, we need to add extra attributes. So as you can see for the X text input, there's also class here. So what happens here in the input select in your blade component, you have attributes merge default attribute value is this, but it would be merged with any additional values that you pass when using the component. So in our case, we need to pass the same class block margin top one and width full. And finally, to make it fully consistent in the registration form, each component, each input has margin top for the div. This is kind of outside of blade component, but just for the sake of consistency. And now we refresh. And now we have absolutely identical styling for the dropdown as well as inputs. Looks much better, doesn't it? Finally, how to pass the parameters to our select the list of time zones. As you can see in other components, there's this syntax. So colon value or for example, colon messages here. This is exactly the syntax 
which we would use here. And let's call the select options exactly like this options. And here we can use PHP variables. For example, in this case, let's call it time zones. And those time zones are passed from the controller. In case of Laravel Breeze, we have registered user controller where we would define this and then pass that to the register. So by default, Laravel Breeze looks like this without any parameters, but you can pass additional parameters if you wish to. So this is exactly what we will do. And then we pass those as options. And then inside of our component, those options will be here. And we can do for each of the options, options as option, we define this. And let's change that to key value. And we will show the value as text here value and the key would be value here like this and our controller passes the time zone identifiers list this is by the way php function it's not a laravel thing and if we dd time zone so you would see what's inside we refresh and this is the list so we have strings of time zones with their array item number which would be the key in our case so we pass those time zones into register blade which in itself uses time zones as options the final thing is to define the options as a thing inside of blade component as a property you've seen that already in text input props disabled with the default value of false exactly I will copy and paste and our property would be called options with default parameter of empty array for example and now if we refresh our page we have the list of time zones as you can see below in this video I will not cover the submitting of the form validation and stuff like that the topic is just blade components so this is how you can easily create a blade component and how to add attributes for styling for example and how to pass properties for any values and this example, actually, the full example comes from our course about time zones. So I've chosen time zones deliberately because we do have that example. We have a full course about time zones where my colleague Modestas implemented this dropdown in Breeze with actually saving the data with database value with validation and everything related to that. And also there are more examples. You can see on the right side the full content of the course. And I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.